What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. When it comes to speaking on issues regarding the Pan-African or Black plight, few are better than Dr. Umar Afatunde Johnson. He is, in my honest opinion, at the top of the food chain despite his personal dealings. Um, Dr. Umar Johnson is almost limitless when it comes to having the talent to break down things of society. He's an excellent, he's an excellent teacher, a magnificent intellectual, far beyond anybody else I think that's out there today. Outside of some of the elders who have written books in the past and who have gone on, uh, Dr. Amos Wilson, Dr. John Clark. I mean, the you know, the, also we have um, some people that are um, elders and they're retiring and things like that. Um, Dr. John, Dr. Claude Anderson, of course, people like that. But of course, Dr. Claude Anderson is an, is an elder and, you know, he's a legend in his own right. So he's, you know, but I'm talking about guys who are active in that age group. Dr. Umar Johnson is, is, is really at the top of the food chain. However, Dr. Umar Johnson finds himself in silly things. He made a video of the King Kong consciousness page, made a video called Dr. Umar trapped next to a snow bunny for 17 hours. It's quite hilarious, but I want to play this particular clip and then I'll come back. Somebody set me up. Somebody set me up. Calling all African ancestors. I have been set up. Trapped in the snow. I'm in a snowstorm. They put me in a snowstorm. I'm in a snowstorm going to Africa. How am I in a snowstorm going to the motherland? Yes, ma'am. Oh, sure, 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 sure. Black power. Stop playing. Black power. Black power. We do ask that you step out of the aisle to allow our customers to pass by. Please take your assigned seat as quickly as possible. So there is Dr. Umar Johnson acting a fool. And I, I want to talk about acting a fool because this is what it is. Well, a lot of times blacks or intellectuals do things to get uh, responses that don't do anything. But now I, I wanna I wanna discuss this if I can because Dr. Umar Johnson was educated, if I'm not mistaken, by whites, okay? You ask for a cash app, which is in US dollars, which has the white man on that. And now let's make the stupid video, which is called Trap Next to a Snow Bunny for 17 Hours. If you live in America, you're trapped next to them all the time, okay? Anywhere in Europe, you're trapped next to them all the time. The question is, Dr. Lamar, I'm, I'm gonna be petty here. Why were you in the economy, bro? Like, I'm just gonna be real. It looked like you were not in business class because international flights like that, you were in a dusty business class seat. Look at how tiny that is. I flew, I've flown Delta before. Delta don't look like that. Why is your dusty ass flying economy 
to South Africa. Okay. What are you doing all them donations? And this, this, this is what I'm talking about. What do you expect? You're always trapped to somebody in the economy, bro. That's how it works. But now we're going to be foolish and talk about foolish things. Is that to hype the crowd up? And this is what I'm talking about. A lot of times with, with, with black people, as long as we can entertain with shenanigans and with things that don't matter, you know, we can get some donations. We can get clout. We can roast. And nothing really materializes because what we're talking about is foolish. Okay, you're next to a white person on the way to South Africa, which has a lot of white people there in South Africa. And if you go to any restaurant in any part of the nice city uh, or anything or any business in South Africa, you're trapped by snow bunnies. There is nothing in the world that most white people don't own or run that you're next to them. What is the behavior that you intend on helping our people get out of being trapped next to snow bunnies instead of making stupid, silly videos like this that make no sense. It's so ridiculous. And again, people like this, the lower order thinkings, the lower order thinkings of pro blacks who have no, and we have those brothers and sisters. We got pro blacks in the community just for a good speech, a good talk to woo woo. Just like the, you know, the amen crowd at the black church. Talk, preach reverend. Okay, well, 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 that's, that's y'all there. Y'all not there to really uh, be no Christian or actually practice what the word of God says. You're there as the amen corner. And the pro black community got the amen corner, just like the black church. Trust me, I'm in it. I am in it. We like speeches. We like building it up. We like talking about it. We like breaking it down. We like to build up the conversation. And we ain't no different in, 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 in the pro-black Pan-African community than what you got in the nation is I'm in the black church. We like, and Umar is like a preacher. He likes to hear himself talk. But the problem is when you do foolish things like that, and this is why you would never see somebody in a Jewish community be that ignorant or that silly. This is why Umar can't be a leader. Umar is just a thought, intellectual minded person. But Umar can never be a leader in the Pan-African community. He's too immature. No real leader of any community. Imagine a Chinese man posting that video who is community minded. I'm trapped next to a black person for 17 hours or to a Russian person for never, next th another 17 hours. Firstly, that person isn't in economy going to South Africa like your broke ass, bro. That's, that's the first thing, first and foremost. Secondarily, they're not 40 something years old playing stupid games. They need something to do. It don't matter who they're next to. And if they're in business class, and if you have to have a seat that is close to somebody like that, you can deal with it because you're so busy on your phone, on Wi-Fi, or working in your business class suite, you're trying to actually get things done. So you don't have time for foolishness. But when you have buffoonery artists and, 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 and clout chasers and idiots as, as, as leaders in black America, that's why you don't have no building. We don't have no building in black America. And I don't even profess to be a leader like this guy does. This, this is a guy that's going around talking about he's the prince of Pan-Africanism. He's a prince of Pan-Africanism. He feels he's the leader of the conscious community. And therefore, that's why you see the conscious community look like what it is. And in, in, real, in, in real time, a lot of folks will tell you the, the conscious community, hood, the hood guys are running it. I won't even call no names. That's why you don't have a whole lot of development. And if Umar is the captain of the conscious community, rightfully so. No wonder why it looks like that. No wonder. You can't have no respect as a leader of a community acting foolish like that, representing a group, having no decorum. We know what white people have done, but it's not up to us as leaders to put that kind of message out there because we know our people like to be entertained. We know they like that. They will use that as a token to not do nothing for their community. That's how, that's how some of us can be as blacks. So we have to be mindful of how we behave in front of African-Americans or blacks who like that kind of foolishness. And don't get me wrong, I like that foolishness sometimes, but we gotta get to business and you can't get to business when you are playing. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. What you should follow you to do, subscribe to the bell, we're out.